Hello, Search here for the Backyard Driving Range. All right, today I want to talk about one of our really good videos that will help you improve your golf game that you can find on SwingSurgeon.com in the Surge Shop. And today I want to talk about situational shots around the green. In other words, those, those shots that are going to help you become, as I always say, you want to become a short game wizard, okay? Because nobody hits 18 greens around. And so if you want to shoot slower scores, you've got when you miss the greens, or you have a par five you can't reach into, but you get up at a decent place, 50, 80 yards from the green, you got a better chance of getting that thing up and down closer than maybe getting a birdie or even a par. So, situational shots around the green. This is what this is what the write-up about the video says in the search shop. It says, you're 50 yards for the flagstick. This is where you make it or break it. And this video makes you sure, make sure you make it. Fantastic advice and a variety of short shots and difficult lies from PGA Master Professional Don Trahan and two-time PGA Tour Champion DJ Trahan. This video is the difference between a bogey and a birdie. Okay, great. So right off the bat, you know that DJ and I are in it. All right. And, and the beauty about this situational shots around the green is that we just don't tell you how to how to grip it and set up and and and, and swing. We walk you through how we come to the conclusion of and make the decision of what shot to hit from every shot. I mean. We have a golf bag with 14 different clubs in it, all right? And they can be hit any one of a you know, multitude of different ways, okay? And so you could have a shot be short of the green someplace, say five yards off the green. You, literally, you could have 10 or more different ways to play that shot. So what, which, way you, which, which one are you going to choose? Well, and that's what we always say, choose the ones that build to your strengths. I mean, sometimes guys, sometimes uh, certain players uh, rather run a ball before they'll flop it or something like that but they you, you you play to your strengths but the key becomes we we talk about analyzing the lie analyzing the grass around the ball can make a difference of <coughs> of of whether i want to use a more lofted club or a less lofted club to hit this pitch and run or not okay and 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 and, and we talk about the slope of the green and the, and the grass and all those other things all the things that 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 if you want to get better at making and being more consistently getting the ball up and down, it's just not walk up and if it's five feet off the ground, you grab a club that you use all the time and use that club. Because I guarantee you that, 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 that being able to, to analyze the grass, the situation and everything else and, and choosing and, and knowing the ability and having the ability to, to know how to hit different shots and even different, different shots with the same club by changing your setup, that'll help you really start scoring. And that's what DJ and I walk you through on this, on this video. And, and and again, I've seen it many times when we, when I, when I, when I have, when I go out and play with some surgites. I just played one recently, and 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 I felt three times I let him hit the shot he wanted to run the green, and 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 he didn't hit a very good shot, and he's always complaining his short game. He, 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 he works at his short game, but he's not really getting better. I think, and I, I proved to him. I said, if you're using the wrong shot, you're using the wrong technique for this shot. And, and he wants it to, and, and he wanted to hit a, so to speak, the pin was really tight to him, so he wanted to hit it and bounce it into the fringe and roll it up on the green. But he was doing that from the ball center of his stance and, and a regular setup position. And he came under and, and, he, and, he, and he's trying to hit the ball low from a natural position, and, he, and in trying to get it low, he hit it thin and, 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 and just whacked it about 40 feet by the hole. I thought, then I got him to take the same club he had, but get himself a little bit more forward, put the ball back a little bit, and it hit more like a chip shot, not a wedge shot, a, a lofted wedge shot. And as soon as we changed the position, he hit, he hit a much better shot. So you have to make sure that your setup is going to match the shot you want to hit. And so that's, we explain all this in this video. It's a great video for, for just teaching you how to think, evaluate, and then determine what shot you want to hit, and then the setup and the motion that it takes to hit that golf shot. So. If you want to really work in becoming a, a shot game wizard, get yourself the situational shots around the green with DJ and myself, and uh, I guarantee it's going to help you see your short game a lot better, analyze it a lot better, and hit those short shots a lot better to shoot those lower scores. That's it for the search for today, and I'll be talking with you all again soon.